Here we are again, guys. Another broken Grand Am. Uh, this one, maybe not so much broken, but uh, this could be in relation to upgrades. Uh, so I'm going to take this time, since i got to swap my brother's speakers, to show you guys how to swap the front door speakers and the six pions in the back. Uh, as you can see, he's got some nice Pioneers that we pulled out of his other car that we're going to put in the new car. So, walk you through it and uh, hopefully help you guys. Okay, so to start off with the doors, you're going to need a Phillips and a flathead. Now, between two-door and four-door, it's the same process, and it's the same speakers. And here's going to be a Phillips screw. And this hole just above your trunk button will be a Phillips screw. Down here, uh, you may have a reflector. I see these things missing all the time. You're going to want to gently pry that out with a flathead. And behind that is another Phillips screw. And you're going to want to take off your switch panel here, which this one's actually already gone and sold. But uh, unplug the four connectors and either take out or unplug your mirror thing. And then behind that will also be a Phillips screw right there. Now, once you do that, this will slide off like so. And you're just kind of forcefully, gently pry that off. We need a fly head to pull it off. And then we'll go ahead and get the door panel off. You're gonna look for, you're gonna feel, and you're gonna find a hole where you can stick your hand in there. Now, while holding the door, it's kind of better if you open up all the way. Grab the bottom and kind of give it a tug. And you hear it pop. Go all the way around. Make sure you got everything popped. Because there's pop rivets all the way around. Just make sure it's all loose. And at an angle, you'll kind of wiggle it up and off. And then don't forget to unplug your trunk button. So most cars will still have this plastic. As you can see, here's our here's our wire. And this plugged into the tweeter. So this would be another little different thing is uh, if you have tweeters, what happens is it comes out of the door harness, it goes down to the four by six, and then coming out of the four by six, it has a resistor on it that comes back out and goes to the tweeter. So it's real easy. Two pops, that'll come out. You'll, uh, I use a pair of uh, side cutters, which is a push pin that goes into the door. And here you have your 4x6. Alright, so next, uh, uh, this is for aftermarket replacements. Again, you know, here's your plug if you're just doing a factory replacement. Now, to get this speaker off of here, you got four of these. They're T10 Torx. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to take this off to get to these wires to wire in the new speaker. So the idea uh, will be to, we're gonna cut at the speaker because I'm going to keep this intact to still run the tweeter. So we'll cut, put connectors on there and install the new speaker. Okay, so we are now connected. We're gonna go ahead and make sure our wire is tucked and out of the way secure and be sure to test it before you put your door panel back on and we'll go ahead and slap our door panel back on okay so make sure you sit up in this ridge make sure you pull all your connections through including your tweeter one and then you got it where you need it to be kind of finagle with it till it sits in place Love tap and reinstall your screws. Okay, before we start the rears, uh, kind of touch base on the whole monsoon system thing. So, GTs and some SEs, you'll have tweeters in your doors. Um, or if you don't have the monsoon system or the premium system, as they call it, this will actually just be blank. And you won't have the extension wire that you saw when we changed the 4x6s. 
Now, where you'll find the amp if you need to get to it on your driver's side. Behind here, which you can see here, even the 99 has like a small kind of amp. Not sure what is, really what the deal is with it is. But there's diagrams online to help you figure out the wires in and out because there's tons of wires with the monsoon system. All right, so your rear speakers. Hey, you can't see up in there. So they're up under there, which means you got to get this top thing off. So backtracking here. So this guy is going to have to come off, which usually these have just push pins and you just kind of pull this out and they'll pop off. And then this kind of you go over your latches and that just comes down. Then you'll have to pull uh, the C pillar trim. Go ahead and pull it all the way down. Be careful not to uh, break into the plastic. Just kind of let it hang or when you get it out, you'll see there's a split and you get the seat belt through, you can set it aside. And then from there you'll be able to change the speakers. So let's get that far. There are the speakers. So, from it turns out, these are actually aftermarket ones. But I'll still show you how this goes. So, to get the whole unit out, tab there, tab over here, you lift, you kind of tilt, and it comes out. Tab. Tilt back, pull forward. And that's how you get them out. Okay, now before we put the back speakers in, um, I don't have the harnesses, so we're gonna go ahead and build uh, harnesses. That way, it's a little easier to put in the car when we get in there, instead of having to fumble up under the, under the truck too long. Build some from stuff I have here, uh, keeping the wire about the same what stock is since that's all uh, that's in there right now. Be sure to note uh, wire color. And so with your positive and negative, and then make sure you note in the car so uh, you don't put these backwards. Six by nines will fit in here just fine. Just about any any model you can find. And when you get your stock ones, it'll be in just like this. You've got four tabs that if you kind of like push the two on one side. kind of give you leverage you can get the whole thing out you know get the two on one side on just kind of push up 
that's it. And then that's what you'll install into the car. You set that lip in first. Okay, there we go with the wires. The wires are down. Click. Alright, and it's all back together. Pioneer. So there you have it. There's uh changing speakers for you. Not a big deal. Pretty pretty simple job whether you're gonna throw some stock ones back in or if you're gonna upgrade to aftermarket. Little note, four by sixes are for the front, six by nines in the back. You can work with the monsoon systems. Uh there's wiring diagrams out there if you get lost, you know. Uh, find me on social media and I could probably get you the diagrams you need if you need to uh, for example the back speakers will have two wires two sets of wires running to them highs and lows um, so you know look at the diagrams to figure out what's what so you can tap into what you want uh, I recommend if you're gonna put an aftermarket radio in uh, with the monster system go ahead and just run all new wiring through the car with new speakers that way you kind of cut out any kind of issues that can happen because sending a signal to the monster amp out to the speakers you know any kind of trouble you can find there but uh yeah pretty simple one here we'll see you in the next one